hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the I sticks. I have a stick, and, we're and I'm holding one too. Madden 20, the oil daddies are here. And Boom, they need they're ready to go. As always, we're playing offense only. We're sitting in the D. Balance playbook, all Madden, arcade mode. John Gruden is the coach. It looks like he has AirPods in his ears because the logo. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Does he have a cape behind him? No, oh. it's the Oilers logo, but oh. it's like that tall, like oil thing. <laughs> it's a tall oil thing. The other and then dude. like there's the white of the outline, so like it, it comes right behind their ears and makes them look like Everybody they're wearing AirPods. The yeah, I get it. I see it. EA Sports, it's in the game, it's Jonas. Very Are you ready to game? game? It's ready? all in the game. The Are you ready to Zero game, Zero dude? I've Zero gamed hard. It's Houston versus Houston, by the way. Divisional matchup. Ooh. Yeah, I did that on purpose. That's great. I like that. Houston versus Battle Houston. Battle of Houston. Because everyone to talk. Oh, Nye High High! Nye High Heyman. Nye High Heyman? Oh, man. I can't wait to talk about the Heyman story no, on Tuesday. No! Today on the podcast, turn it on. I don't know what they out. Tune in to the next podcast or the one after. We'll be think, talking about Heyman. I think this is the last one for a week, right? This will be Monday of week, so day before the pod. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know when these are coming out, man. We don't. We just record. I know we need X mount in a session, and then I figure out what days to put them out. No, okay. I'm, Shock. Spoiler alert. We have lives. We do these in, in a couple sessions. And no, we, Jonas. Don't tell him. We do one every day. One every every time we post one, we're done ten minutes before. That. Yeah, and then we put it up, and then we sit there and we watch the comments, and then we wait till the next one, and we're just like, like, all right, when is somebody gonna comment? When is somebody gonna watch? Somebody watch yet? Is somebody watch yet? Yeah, I do that all night. Do you? Three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh, he commented. It's so funny. He does, man, with a big pot of coffee and a hypodermic needle. He just yeah, dude. I shoot it in my vein directly. That's the. That's the Oh, the boys, you're back in town. <laughs> Jonas, how do you feel about shots, man? They bother you at all? Body shots? Sometimes Dude, I watch come on. And <laughs> come on. We can go into that, but we're going to stay, um, stay on target here, right? I'm, I'm not a big fan. No? I like, I'm not afraid of needles, per se. Yeah. I don't like um, needles. Okay, no, I don't know. So I'm all right with needles. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is it, motherfucker? Do you not like needles? Or are you it's all right with needles? I'm fine with needles. Like, I don't know. I just, shots, I don't like shot. I don't like the pressure you get under the skin when they give you a shot, dude. That's, it's weird to me. All right. So I used to have a problem with shots as a kid, as we all have, I think. I used to run around like a little bee when I was a kid. Like, yeah. And then I remember they had like a blood drive at school. And I was like, oh, yeah, F that. I'm definitely giving blood, man. I mean, it didn't. I totally missed the field goal. I was joking with you about pee. It didn't. Oh, I'm back. It hit the fair. Yeah, you effed it up. Good job. I totally made a pee joke, and I got, god dang it. So they had to, like, when you ever you give blood, they take like those butterfly uh, syringes. Yeah. So the no, not the the butterfly field needles. Field it has like the little wings on it, or whatever, and they just like shove it in your arm, right in your antecubital. Okay. That's like where your elbow bends, and uh, they just like leave it there and they tape it down, and you just basically. That's right. And they hook a, uh, they hook the tubes up to it. And yeah, it just, and it yeah, just yeah, like yeah. pours yeah, out, and you're like squeezing the ball just to keep the blood flowing out of you, yeah, and they take a good chunk of your blood. Oh, absolutely. So every time, ever since the first time. I was able to give blood in school. You know, that's a little weird that they're just like going to school to school soliciting kids for blood. Yeah, but it's needed, man. I mean, yeah, fam, it's needed, but how are you going to ask my 17, 15, 16 year old son to give blood? Blood drives at high school? They used to do blood. They 100% did, did a blood a drive in our school. We in school man, we're young. Yeah, I mean, they definitely did it. I don't know if they still do it because, like, kids is out here having sex and stuff now oh my God, yeah. running around with herps and aids but regardless i remember doing that and i would do it every single time that they had a blood drive because i would get out of class or something and i remember and you get free oreos and some lorna dunes <laughs> so, this guy's giving blood for lorna dunes so i gave blood probably like eight or nine times i even had like one of those cards with a bunch of stamps on it. you ever you give get, blood you get like a bj no, <laughs> no, you don't get a BJ, but it was just like, it was just good juju, man. I was trying to give back to the, to the world out there. I love giving back to the world, but did not you, by giving blood. You I didn't give blood? blood? I, my blood has been tainted. What is wrong with your blood, fam? What you got? Just tell me, fam. It's all right. It's just me and you. <laughs> no, dude, my, no, because I like, I always like. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. you, yeah, yeah. do you don't want to, yeah. yeah. But that is really tainted. No, I know, I, but it would be my joke. Wow. I mean, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can bring it up if it doesn't taint it. It's gone, dude. It just, you metabolize that. Yeah. Easy, dude. You can do all the heroin you want. Nobody will ever know. But when I'm high on heroin, I can't give the blood. <laughs> It's oh, my, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, it's we're in my blood, dude. We're I not can't. supposed to talk about it. No. <laughs> we're, just joking, guys. Jonas, we're, just, we're, just, we're just joshing around. Jonas does not do heroin. I do not. So do you're not you're not a big blood donor type boy. No, man, but I'm a good Samaritan in other ways. But so, but okay, so needles. Um, but you got. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with needles for sure. Yeah, I got that. So you cool with like permanent yourself, but not cool with giving back to your fellow to man. I'm just making sure I understand that you're an evil villain. And oh, dude, I I, okay. I want everybody to know. Listen, what up? I'm a good man. Mm. I I'm a good man too mm. because I choose to be one. Mm. I have an evil heart. <laughs> My heart is evil, dude. I got so I ever got like a head injury and I like lost my will to control myself. Watch it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nah, I'm just being serious. You're not. You absolutely meant that. I did not mean that. The best jokes have a bit of truth in them. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> so you're just an evil guy, huh? Nah, dude. Nah, I like people. I help people. I try to help people all the time. You say that, man. I really do. We've even told some of our uh, humble brag stories on on the uh, on the channel here. Yeah, we absolutely have. Man. I'm not gonna get into that again. Like you think I'm a cheapskate, but I will absolutely like give money. No, I don't ever give money, but I will. I will, I will uh, hook up homeless people for hungry. All right. So on needles, Jones, have you ever had blood taken out of your hand? That ish is a whole I have. story. Because my veins are very hard to find. Mine too. That was just gonna get into that, and that that was gonna be my my point. And after they blow up both arms, both arm, and they try the mm -hmm. ankle, mm -hmm. and they try like the ankle. That's the difference. Holy I crap! Mean, like man. when I was a younger kid, I was in the hospital all the time for bronchitis, like in the fall and the spring. Yeah, me too. And. uh they, I would be in there so long, they got to run IVs, but then, like, I would put them on my arm, and they would, they used to put that damn board under my elbow, so I wouldn't crimp them. Yep. And then, I've then had still, that, dude. And then I would still manage to crimp them, and then they'd, like, put them, like, in your wrist, they'd put them, like, put them anywhere they can. I'm, I remember I'm the wrist. I'm sure I had one in my ankle before. I've never seen it in the ankle, but I've seen, I've had it in my wrist, I've had it in my hand. I've given blood with it yeah, out like of my hand. like, on the top hand. of the hand? Yeah. Yeah, and whenever I would give blood, I'd be like, "Yeah, good luck finding anything." So when they would put it in my arm, they would just like constantly be like moving it in and out, and like searching left or right. Like a goddamn baseball size yeah. blood wound underneath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> giving my my inner arm just a lobotomy, a full <laughs> frontal. Yeah. So after you know my pain, it's it's not fun. Yeah. Or they have a lot easier time than they used to. I don't know why, but yeah. So, but after that, and after I was just like, I was just like, I'm gonna give blood every time. I know it's gonna hurt a lot. I got used to it. So, like me and needles, I'm cool, man. Go ahead and stick me. I, I, I'm like, I want to watch you do it. I, I did too. I watched you. I'm like, I want to watch you do it. And they're like, really? You sure? You can look away. I'm like, no, you can do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah, I, 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 I try to make it intimidating. Mm, and then you feel it go in, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to. Reminds me every time I shoot up. I know people are screaming, we're going to adjust from halftime on the not defensive side. I don't, I don't do that. We, we at the crazy town and crazy council of subsidiaries do not indulge, oh indulge in the use. Do not indulge in heroin or condone heroin or, or the use or any sort of drugs. Or any illegal illicit narcotic. No drug that you cannot buy. Legally. Excuse me, Jonas. <laughs> what is? I don't condone cigarette smoking either. Yeah, I don't do that either. I don't condone it. It's not good. Yeah. It makes you smell. I'm all out of condolences. Yeah, this one time you smelled. You did for a long time. Probably longer than I did. Was it? I don't remember, but it's been, long. It's, been almost, I, it's been almost as long since I stopped than the entire time that I did it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a nasty habit, man. Yeah. A big play on the catch and run. I started out smoking. Well, I started out smoking Q-tips. <laughs> We've been over that. I definitely started out smoking Q-tips with the neighborhood. <laughs> And then when I did actually start smoking cigarettes, it was around you motherfuckers. 
because none of my other circle of friends smoke. Oh, Joe, nah. Oh, You're a bad man. Uh, then I was, what was I smoking? Like marble menthol lights? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started by smoking freaked black and milds by a girl, oh, I, a yeah, girl yeah, I worked yeah. with at Wendy's yeah. would be like here, and I would hit it, and I get all lightheaded and feel all good, and I'd be like, yeah. ooh, I like this. Yeah. And then next thing I know, I'm like, I don't get that. Now I'm addicted. Great. Now yeah. That's how I never like smoke black and milds on my own. And that's how it started with me. Like I was just like, I'll just hit a black every once in a while. Yeah, dude. I uh. You know, I'm not going to lie, like, I did not like doing it. I just didn't like no. spending money. I didn't like the smell. I didn't like getting ill. Yeah. I never felt like my air capacity was in trouble. I never felt any of those sort of side effects. But I don't know, man. Sometimes you have like a moment and you're like, what if I'm like this the rest of my life? Yeah. Like, if, maybe I should make sure I don't. I could do everything possible not to have this happen the rest of my life. Yeah. It's, it's probably a good move, man. Chew gum kicks. Yeah, dude, I had, uh, yeah, I, what actually got me to quit was I got really sick in, like, really sick. Emphysema. And I had, like, I had, like, the nastiest cough. Like, I, I've, I've been a sick kid a lot of my life. And I had the nastiest cough I ever had. And it wouldn't go away. It lingered forever. And I literally, like, that's what I thought. I was like, what if, like... I keep smoking, and, and this is my everyday life. Mm. And I'm like, mm. and then I, that, like, after that sickness, I was like, okay, I'm gonna prepare myself mentally to quit. And I set a date like three months in advance. I said, on this date, I'm gonna quit. And I didn't even try to wean myself. I just prepared myself mentally to stop. And then on the day that it happened, I stopped. And I've never hit a cigarette since. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I I've tried. I tried to quit like 30 times before that and failed. I've never. Oh, really? And uh, in that Super time, I I prepared myself down. mentally, and uh, it was great. So like, kind of when I have big things going on. I, I wonder like, if I have to employ that. I um, prepare myself mentally, and it works. When you see passes knocked down. Yeah, I don't know, man. If I ever, when I quit smoking, at least initially, I was just like, I'm good. But then it was like I didn't really like set a goal for it. I was just like I'm good. And then if one were to show up, I'd be like, yeah, hit it. Yeah. But then that just leads you to doing it more. Right, absolutely. Well, because that's what I used to do. Like I had a ton of friends that smoked. So, like I wouldn't like smoke, but I'd like hit the cigarette here, hit the cigarette there. You know what I mean? Like, and I'd be like, but it, you're just basically keeping it. That's how I actually switched from non-menthol to menthol. Because I used to smoke non-menthol cigarettes, and then one time I quit, and I didn't. I stopped for a very long time, like a few weeks. Very, you know, went for a non smoker. But I would hit hit cigarettes every so often, and everyone I knew smoked menthol, but me. So. Trap. Every so every cigarette I hit was a menthol. I was like, I hate every second of this. Well, then when I was like, went to go buy a pack. I bought non-menthol, and I was like, I, it's, no, yeah, and I switched. Yeah, dude, it's a trap, man. You hang out with people who smoke, you're gonna end up smoking. Yep, it is. You gotta get away from the smokers, man. That was like my parents. Like my, I remember my mom. Like my mom had both smoke, and uh, my mom doesn't smoke anymore. Yeah, your mom doesn't smoke anymore. My mom quit smoking too. And uh, but I remember like I they. I, Distinctly remember her saying this a billion times. If I ever kept you smoking, I'm gonna break your arms as she's smoking cigarettes. And I'm just like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. And then when she found out I was smoking, what'd she do? Bought me cigarettes. Not, I was older. I wasn't like, wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't it was, she didn't buy them for me illegally. Still, I was like, that sounds borderline. <laughs> Oh, that was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Did she do that right before she poured boiling water over your head? No, 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 oil. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, no, the, oil, the, the water didn't work. It didn't burn good. Jeez, Jonas. But no, she really, literally said it. <laughs> I know she said it. She's like, I will break your arms if you ever smoke cigarettes. But it was like, it was like a nice tactic, but like, no, I smoked a lot. No, she knew of, she knew of the, uh, the siren's call of the cigarette, Jonas. Well, I mean, like, she you knew see it. everyone in your family smoke. And you're like, don't do it. You're like, oh, no. yeah. do it. And every every person who smokes cigarettes has that cognitive dissonance where they're like, I need to stop, but I really want to smoke. A but cigarette. it's just like everything else you know that's bad for you. It's like you have to be ready, or you're never gonna be able to. Do it. Like you can't make an alcohol keep drinking until they're ready to quit drinking. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's cases where you have to, where you're going to die, and people do it. Yeah. But like. 
It's Whoa! Wow. The balls are jiggling. That touchdown, dude. He's just rubbing his head in the ball. Just <laughs> the ball was jiggling. Yeah, right? But, you know, even like heroin addicts, you, they get drugged to rehab. It doesn't work. When do they quit? When they, like, say, I want to go to rehab. And they go yeah. on their own. And they... And that alcohol addiction is some serious stuff, man. Absolutely. I I worked at a, a hospital so when I was in school yeah. briefly, and I was given, like, an assignment at this hospital, and I saw a man pass away from DTs, which is just essentially alcohol withdrawal. Really? Like, yes. He was there one day. I came back. He was in ICU, and the next day he was gone. I've heard the withdrawal from, like, alcohol is, like, is legit. It? it is. Well, I mean, even, like, stuff like heroin. And they have to like lock you in a padded room and stuff because you yeah. literally like go insane. And this man was literally no older than we are right now. Man. It was, and he was like, just did he have like it, it was so hard on his body that it, yes, he did not make it. you know, he may have other complications. I'm not obviously, I'm not gonna divulge too much information about him, but. I have definitely seen it happen, and it, it's just like, wow. And I've, I've never been a big drinker. I drink socially, but it, it's crazy because, like, I don't have a problem where, like, I drink, and I'm like, oh, really? I really like drinking. I guess I'll just drink some more, and I'll keep drinking, and I'll drink every day, even though when I did move down here, I was drinking. I was drinking a lot. But, but like, even then, I wasn't to, like, alcoholic state. But cigarettes, man, like, if you get a pack of cigarettes, guess what? You're going to end up smoking half of that pack, and then you're going to be like, oh, now I'm up to a pack a day. And it, yeah, there's a different type of addiction. Yes. Smoking a whole pack the night you're out drinking. Yeah. And then the next day your throat hurts. It's stupid. Don't smoke it. Yeah, it's terrible. Don't drink. Drink. Drinking's not worth it either. No. Just wait till they legalize it. Drinking. The other thing. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, please just share the video. That's the best thing you can do to help us out. Mm -hmm. But for Jonas, and TNT Dynamite. we'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you